All right, in this tip of the week, we have a right hand sweeper that has a little bit of bumps in the middle, but pretty smooth coming out. Uh, the berm on the outside isn't the most, I guess, formed berm, so it kind of it's there, then it goes away, then it's there and it goes away. So those are the ones that usually cause a lot of uh, high sides or swaps because your back end goes over the edge or or hits one of those bumps and swaps out. So uh, when I'm coming into this turn, as you see, I'm standing up through it till I get to those bumps and then right about the apex is where I sit down and drive out of the corner. I always tell my guys, look, if you're coming out of the corner and there's no bumps, why stand? You're just wasting energy. Sit down, put that weight to the back end of the bike, through your feet, through your hips, and drive out so you can get as much drive down the straightaway, up the hill, to the double, whatever's coming out of the, out of the corner that doesn't have many bumps. Right? You see a lot of the guys now from Baggett and um, you know Dungy, all, all the younger guys and stuff, really getting kind of back on the bike and really putting a lot of drive to that rear end. Uh, I don't feel four strokes you need to be ridden up over the front anymore like the two strokes did. Um, there's so much traction and torque in the rear end that if you do it right you can get so much more drive and traction out of these four strokes but you have to be patient with it and use a lot of momentum so as you see in this sweeper here there's nothing that I come to a stop in everything has a, a flow to it so I come in the corner nice and hot I don't get on the brakes much if or at a fall and I coast through it and then I'll come to more of the inside. I like to keep my feet on the pegs uh, as much as I can because I feel like I have as more control of the rear end than I do if my foot is out because when you're really powering these bikes and your foot's out well now you've made that bike unbalanced and now that backing can come around and can kind of start wallowing on you and that's where you get that clutch gas clutch gas clutch gas type of thing instead of having a clean momentum all the way through it and so I, I feel the rougher the sweeper is or you know I just keep my feet on the pegs I have more control I'm, I'm on my toes I'm gripping with my ankles I'm unlocking my hips so that bike can go side to side and it's not affecting me at the highest point whenever you see somebody hunching and not using the feet that bike starts to go side to side well it affects them at the highest point and then you have to start riding tight with your arms and if you're riding tight with your arms in a sweeper well that's usually when problems happen because you're going at such a high speed the what if is now magnified by what if there's a rock what if there's a bump what if there, that berm goes away all these different things you need to be in a position ready for that at such high speeds when you're at low speeds you know you can dab and and paddle your bike around and, and, and get away with some things but at high speeds things happen very quickly so remember in sweepers to be looking ahead using your legs feet keeping your hips unlocked so that low and the bike doesn't affect you at the highest point and keep loose arms okay because when your arms are tight when you're going at this speed you make all the little mistakes big big mistakes because whenever your arms are tight you exaggerate everything that bikes gonna do and again the top guys their arms are so loose and the bike is just flowing to them and away from them and all over the place that's why they don't get affected when they do make little mistakes because motocross is constant little mistakes it's the person that is in the wrong position or the person that is riding tight that's get a, that gets affected by all these little mistakes the guy that's riding like a dungy and a tomac and the top guys like that they're so loose on the bike the little mistakes don't even come up all right so Pay attention, look ahead, use your legs, and uh, good luck.